Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, Lily. How are you? Fine. You help me with with the videos. To oh complete the, yes. To complete the test. <laughs> That was so nice. Well, that was very good because, I mean, we did it on oh, everything on Friday and it is really helpful when you get, I mean, the exercises done and you have like a, a, a way to go back and check, right? So it's really useful. Siempre, mm -hmm. yo lo considero siempre bien útil el hecho de, de tener este video de backup para todos los grupos porque les sirve un montón en el hecho de ir trabajando. Y más ahora que era como, o sea, un poquito más rápido de lo normal eh, no funcionó ¿verdad? hacerlo todo de una vez mm -hmm. yes thank you I am very very happy that you had the chance to finish everything and that you were able to complete the platform so that's pretty awesome well Lily how was your weekend busy yeah my weekend was very busy I yeah. imagine yeah Claudita I, I, Uh -huh. I feel tired. I, I imagine. <laughs> I imagine that you feel really tired. Hello, Claudita. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. I am very glad to know that. Thank you. Yeah. Most of your friends maybe are finishing the platform right now. <laughs> no, they, they, most of you have already finished by, by now. I finished the platform today. Thank God. Yay. Thank you for helping. <laughs> yeah, it, it it is really helpful. It is really, really helpful when when you do it. And for sure, when, I mean, when you have this little help, it is very necessary, right, to have it. So uh, we're going to wait for them to connect. And for sure, we are going to start with the topics, right? We're going to continue with the topics that we have already started. and. Um, <clears throat> we are going to go like a slow, a, a little bit slower than than uh, before because now, even when you finish the platform on these six days that we are missing, we are going to keep working, right? For sure, we are going to keep working on on all the different exercises that are missing. And now you will have more time to practice to develop other skills, right? Welcome to all the ones that are connecting now. It is a pleasure to have you here. Well, do you remember what we were studying in the previous class before the platform? Do you remember, my dear students? Ah, oh, my camera is not working. Now it is. Do you remember what we were studying before the, the class of the platform? We were studying- uh, Comparative about... and superlatives. Comparatives and superlatives, exactly. We were studying comparatives and superlatives. And we were doing like the, the little differences, right? Between the two of them and uh, how to differentiate them and for sure, how to create them. That's what we were working on, right? The different comparatives and the different superlatives. So in order to create different sentences with comparatives and superlatives, we were mentioning that uh, we need to have for sure the comparative in its a base form plus the different letters that you include on them. For example, here we were saying like, I don't know, this one. What do you think of this statement? What do you think of this? ¿Qué piensan de esta oración? Cats are better than dogs. Do you agree? <laughs> Do you agree with that? Do you disagree? Do you think that the dogs are better? I disagree. You disagree, why? Uh, 
Tell me why. Um, the the dogs are better than the cats. But, uh, but tell me why. You have to give me a reason. Give me a reason why you refute my answer. They are more friendly. Okay, they um, are more friendly, uh huh? And what else? Why do you think dogs are better, for example? Who is another defender of dogs? Veamos. Another dog defender? Wow. The dogs are more, lo more, more loyal. Less. More loyal. Uh -huh. More mm -hmm. loyal. They are more loyal than the cat. Oh, yeah. Okay, the cats just love you for the moment. And then, well, but you know, <laughs> you know, hey, I, I was reading one day on a book that you have to love people like you love a cat. With their personality, with their love, with their affection and with their difficulties. So you have to love a person the way you love the cat that they each person is independent and you don't know right let's see <clears throat> the next one i will write the next statement teacher the cats are cleaner than dogs the cats are cleaner than the dogs really do yes. you think so yeah <laughs> because they dig and everything but you know my dog for example my dog she has a spot in the patio that she always uses. It is very curious because I, I never taught Kiara to do it, but she has this spot in the patio that she always goes there, right? Kiara siempre va al mismo, al mismo lugar. Even when it is raining, aun cuando está lloviendo, she goes to the same spot. So it is, but the cats are very clean. If they have their space to go and do their things, they do it. Good. So cats, Cats are, which ones are more beautiful, cats or dogs? Uh -huh. uh, cats can touch you. Okay, they are, they are equally beautiful. What about this one? The next statement. Women are, women are angrier than men. <laughs> what do you think? I, I am agree. I agree with that. So you say, ah, okay, that's that's the answer that I wanted. Esa es la respuesta que quería. I am agree. You say, uh, I agree. Say, yo estoy de acuerdo. I agree. <laughs> you don't fight with that. Let's see. Uh, so everybody agree that the women are angrier than the men. Aha. Uh -huh. I agree, teacher. Uh -huh. yes. and, when, and when they are playing video games and they lose, or when the or when the soccer match uh, team is losing, ah, uh -huh. uh -huh, that you yell at the screen. I try and I say, I say that it depends uh, of the day. <laughs> okay. I I love I love to see the boys yelling to the television i always tell my husband ya te va a oír el árbitro <laughs> because like mira pasando que no se acaba you know, like for real <laughs> for real <laughs> so let's see the next one uh, let's see this one Okay, computers are better than cell phones. What do you think? Computers are better than cell phones. What do you think? I think so. in some case, uh -huh. um, the laptop, um what happened with the computer uh -huh. tell me tell me tell me there are mm, useful uh -huh. there are more useful uh-huh good yes, but, but the cell phone um 
we can we can wedding. Uh, okay, uh huh. Place. So the computer is more useful. You do you think? Teacher. Yeah. The computer has uh, more uh, hardware uh, memories. Okay, the computer has yeah. more more hardware. Yeah, for sure. It's like it has more space, right? It is. Yes. It has more space. Uh huh. Good. What about the cell phone? Do you think that do you would you prefer to do a phone call on the computer? Do you prefer to do calls on the computer? If no. you are in front of the of the computer and you are working and you need to write, I guess it's better in the computer. Okay, it is better on the computer. That's a good point, right? That's a very, very good point. So it, the computers have more features, right? Computers have more features and um, they are they are a little bit better than uh, the phone. Can you repeat the, the word, the computer Feature. have? Uh, features, I will write it for you here. Features are like characteristics, right? Features, it's on the chat. Features. Ah, okay, okay. Let's see. Musk. Uh -huh. Soccer is more interesting than basketball. Yes or no? Um, for me, no. Aha, uh -huh. why? <laughs> ah, let's see. Um, soccer is more exciting. It's more uh, exciting. Yes. Um, a soccer match is uh, I I I would I could say um, I enjoy I enjoyed um, what um, soccer match mm -hmm. and um, uh, local or the other countries. Uh -huh. So you and enjoy you enjoy soccer more than basketball. Yes. Okay, so you agree with this one. Soccer is it's more fair. interesting than basketball. Yes. In some countries, soccer is more interesting than basketball because they are most uh, player. Okay, yeah, because they they have they have like more players in in the basketball the team. For example, in the in the United States, um, is most more popular. E, uh, basketball than soccer. Than soccer, exactly like that. In the United and, States and American football. And and Brazil, Brazil is more popular soccer than, than basketball. basketball. Uh huh. In the United States, for example, a American football is the top thing, right? Yes. Okay. That's like the top thing. But mm -hmm. curiously, they support more the local school teams than the big uh, famous uh, American football teams. Mm -hmm. It is very, yes. it's a very curious thing. So let me see here, based on this one, right? This is another way to compare. In some cases we use compar comparatives and superlatives, but we don't give reasons. You say like, ah, this <laughs> one is better than that one. And just because, right? In English it's important that you give details, that you give reasons to what you are saying, right? That's why I always tell you, but why? Tell me why, tell me the reason, right? Tell me a reason, why are you saying that? They say like, no, eh, quesadilla is better than salpores. <laughs> ha. But why? Why do you think the quesadilla is better than the salpor? Or it's on the contrary, the salpores are the best. Uh -huh. So that's a, yeah. a constant fight. Pupusas de arroz are more delicious than pupusas de maíz. And say, no, teacher, go on. <laughs> and we can start having a fight. But in this case, you say, why? Give me a reason why you are telling me that. So you always have to support your answers, right? 
En inglés, entre más detalles den de una respuesta, es mucho mejor. ¿Okay? A menos que sea la cuenta del banco. En esa no den detalles. <laughs> so, in that one, no. If you listen to some fireworks, I live very close to a church and they are celebrating the, the Guadalupe Virgin Day. So they are burning a lot of fireworks, right? So mostly here that I am near the Guadalupe uh, church, right? So it's like, yeah, it's a big, big party here. It's a big celebration in all the colonia here. So I want to, ah, mariachi, music, everything. So, y si no me ven en cámara es que ando viendo el mariachi. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So today we are going to reinforce as well some of the parts of uh, asking favors, right? Some of the parts of the favors is something that we are going to actually reinforce because uh, it is also important, right? It's also very important uh, the moment of developing the language. And that was the unit that we were going to start on Friday, but I preferred to reinforce the the platform and it was a lot more useful right it was a lot more useful to do the platform and to finish with everything and i am happy that all of you have already finished right uh, the ones that i asked in the chat in the morning did you finish them yes todos los que les consultaba en la mañana en el chat ya la terminamos let me see yes in my case yes, yes. okay let me just make a a quick a quick review before everything and chan, chan, chan. let me just get it and chan, chan, chan. i was asking uh, claudia did you finish yes teacher okay okay, okay. claudia finished already uh, gabriela yes um only final exam okay you are missing the final exam uh, yeah. griselda griselda hasn't connected uh, lily yes right yes luis roberto yes yep you finish <clears throat> yes madeline madelincita no se conectó a madeline manuel i am finished Okay, you finished. Very good. Uh, Olivia? Yes. Finish. Perfect. So, all the group is done. All the group is done with the platforms. We are going to wait just for the final exam of Kavi and we are going to be done. Yay, we did it. Yay. I feel very happy for that. Well, my dear class. So, tomorrow, we go back to the audios, okay? Ya que ya pasaron el estrés de la plataforma, todos terminaron, todo está listo. We go back to the audios tomorrow morning. <laughs> it's like, nah, yes, we are going to go back. We are going to go back to the practice. So, today uh, we're going to review a little bit on the agreements of the class, right? Practice as much as possible. Ask for help whenever you need. Keep your cameras on all the time during the complete class. Keep the microphones off if you are not using it. Attend all the sessions on time participate as much as possible, keep a cooperative attitude during the class, collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. Thank you very, very much for doing it. You did a very excellent job. Uh, okay, Rosita, you finished? Very good. You did a very excellent job helping each other with the exercises. And for sure, tomorrow we keep working on the audios on WhatsApp. So, some of the things that we were studying on the unit number three are the way of asking for favors, right? How do you ask for favors? And for this one in English, we have very specific forms. We have very specific words that we use. And among these ones, we say, can you, could you, would you mind, right? Will you, uh, if you are very uh, like um, confident with the person, you can say like, uh, do you mind or could you please right is it okay if right you can use different words like this ones for you to ask for a favor and in most of the cases in spanish we are very straight to ask for favors right that's the only problem of spanish right 
en español solo decimos, mira, haceme tal cosa, dame aquello, pásame aquello, dame esto. Right? And you don't even say like, por favor, come on. We say, abrí la puerta. Por favor, we say. Ay, abrí la puerta. Por favor, we say in Spanish. And we, it's difficult for us to do it, right? But in English, you say, could you please open the door? Would you mind opening the door? Right? You are very specific at the moment of asking another person to do something for you. Right here, I have a couple of examples. I have a couple of examples here that says, <clears throat> can you please do me a favor? Could you please do me a favor? Will you do me a favor? Will you do me a favor? Or will you please, right? Those are all the options that you can use with this type of models, right? The words. Can I ask for a favor? That is another thing, right? If I say, could you please do me a favor? In that case, you don't have an option, right? Cuando ya te dicen, could you do me a favor? It's like, dale. <laughs> Anyway, you don't have an option, right? It's like, mm -hmm. what do you need, right? But if I say, can I ask for a favor? ¿Te puedo pedir un favor? You say like, a ver, what type of favor? And then you have the chance to choose on doing it or not, right? But if I say, would you mind doing me a favor? ¿Te importaría hacerme un favor? That is like, I really need it. Right? Ahí no hay como opción de quitarse el favor, pero es como, mira, si, no, si lo necesito. If you say, for example, the next one, eh, will it be okay? Estaría bien si te pido un favor. Will it be okay if I ask you for a favor? Eh, will it cause trouble if I ask you for a favor? When you know that the person is busy, for example. Si saben que el otro está ocupado o tiene muchos que hacer, es like, eh, will I cause trouble if I ask you for a favor? Te meto en problemas si te pido un favorcito. Hmm. In most of the cases, favors are a problem, right? But you say like, yeah, it's okay. Go ahead. I can help you, right? Is it okay if I ask you for a favor? Está bien si te pido un favor? Maybe when you don't have a lot of confidence with the person, right? When you are not very confident with, with the person or when you are starting to meet the person, it is very useful to ask this way, right? Is it all right if I ask you for a favor? right? Please do, please do a favor. Please do a favor to me or please do this favor for me, right? This is the most like informal way. The most informal way. Please do this for me. Hace esto por me, please. Imagine if you are very busy at the end of the afternoon and you say, ah, please do a favor for me. Please do this for me but you are very confident with the person. Ya para la última tenemos que tener mucha confianza con alguien para decirle, mira, cerrar la ventana. Mira, haceme esto. Mira, hace aquello. So you have to be very confident with the person. But if you are like in, in a different relationship, you say, eh, can you please? That's the most common one. Can you please eh, open the window? Can you please eh, lend me your book? Can you please pass me the salt? Can you please... Uh, uh, pass me a piece of bread, right? Would you mind? This is another one. This is like the second one that it's the most common. Would you mind? Te importaría? This one. This one is the second most common way to ask for favors. And this one, it's the first one. The most common is like, can you do me a favor? Will you do me a favor? Okay. And the second one, would you mind? And in this one, would you mind doing, so in this case, you have an ING form after would you mind? Would you mind passing me the salt? Would you mind opening the window? Would you mind uh, going to the supermarket with me? Right? So imagine if you need to ask me for a favor. And you say like, teacher, would you mind? Y de ahí agregamos un ING y lo que queremos pedir. Would you mind repeating the explanation? Would you mind writing that on the chat, right? So those are forms of questions that we can also use at the moment of asking someone to do something for us, okay? Uh, can you write, would you mind 
Would you mind writing one example for me? Write one example on the chat. Write one example of a would you mind request. Teacher, would you mind ING form? Okay, I will be waiting for your examples. Hello, Gladys, welcome. Uh -huh. Send me one example on the chat. Envíenme un ejemplo. I am going to write mine. Would you mind writing one? Uh, teacher, in this example, example um, always use a ANG. Yes, with would you mind. After would you mind, uh, after mind, you use the uh, ING form. Would you mind writing one example on the chat, right? In this case, if you say, for example, can you please, can you please uh, do me a favor? In this case, you don't use it. You don't say, can you please doing me? That's not possible, okay? In a sentence like, can you please do me a favor or do a favor for me? Would you mind repeating the address, please, okay? The address, double D, right, double S, please. Would you mind lending me your pencil? Very good. Good, good, good. Any other example? Send me one on the chat. Would you mind sharing, sharing the class presentation, please? Very good. Would you mind lending me your computer? Good. Very good. Would you mind coming with me to the hospital? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't like hospital film. <laughs> I don't know, but I don't like it. <laughs> Would you mind supporting me with the tasks, please? In that case, if you say supporting me with the task, that is something curious because support is like, vamos, tú puedes, like, vamos, 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 tú puedes hacerlo. That is support. Darte apoyo, pero apoyo solo de ayuda, así como, pobrecita, lo vas a lograr, right? But apoyo emocional no es como exactly una ayuda en sí. Uh -huh. Ajá. If you say, would you mind helping me with the task? Helping is like, vaya, hagámoslo entre las dos, mira, leemos y todo esto. But supporting oh, okay. is like, very good, you can do it. <laughs> And I don't help at all, right? Sirvo no solo. Tanto mal, tanto tiempo, y mi hermano no me ha podido corregir. Yeah, but you see, here's teacher not no, helping you. Don't worry. Voy a reclamar. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but support, for example, when you say custom, in customer service, you give support to the person because you kind of help with something, right? Yeah, sí, lo entiendo, entiendo su problema, mire, vamos a trabajar juntos, and da, da, da. So that is like, you are supporting the client, right? So, would you mind, and I have more examples, very good, would you mind making the cake, please? Okay. <laughs> I will. Would you mind writing the letter for me? I can do it. Don't worry. Would you mind helping me with the homework? Okay. Would you mind running with me, please? Okay. Running with me, please. Saben que en la universidad me pusieron a escribir with 1500 veces. Because I used to do the same that, that you did. Yo hacía esto. Yo escribía with con la H en medio. Como escribir white. Entonces, un licenciado me puso 1500 veces escribir with. So, <laughs> I will do the same with Ever de Jesús. La misma plana le vamos a poner. Would you mind waiting for, waiting for me five minutes or waiting five minutes for me? Right? Can you please, can you help me with my homework, please? Very good job. Thank you, Stella. You're writing other examples. Would you mind? Turning, turning down the radio, Astrid. Would you mind turning down the radio? You have all this reggaeton salvaje there. Mm -mm -mm. All the quadra is listening. Would you mind turning down the radio? Good. So that is a very good use of the examples. Here on my, uh, on my presentation, I have a couple of 
examples that we are going to discuss. Okay, I need you to check on the different forms of uh, sentences that I have, and I need you to work on what would you answer to this person? What would you answer to these situations? I have here the first situation. Let me stay at your place for a couple of weeks. Imagine that I go to your house with a big backpack and I say, hi, how are you? Can I stay here for a couple of weeks? It's like, hmm, really? <laughs> okay, would you mind letting me stay at your place for a couple of weeks? Can you please come with me to my niece's school concert? Let me use your credit card. Co-sign a bank loan for me. Ser mi eh, fiador <laughs> en, un, en un crédito. Babysit my kids for the weekend. Watch my stuff for a couple of minutes, right? Cuidame esto un rato, right? Watch my stuff for a couple of minutes. Would you mind driving me to the airport? Or let me use your Netflix Netflix passcode to watch a movie or all the platforms that you have to watch some movies. Okay, what would you answer to these situations? Okay, imagínense que todos lleguemos con una mochila a su casa for a couple of weeks. Ahí nos vamos a quedar, no vamos a hacer stop. Okay, come with me to my niece's school concert. Let me use your credit card. Co-sign a bank loan for me. This is one of the most difficult ones. Don't fall on that, okay? Babysit my kids on the weekend because I want to go out. Watch my stuff for a few minutes. Drive me to the airport and let me use your passcode to download a movie, okay? Or let me use your platforms to watch movies in my house. I need you, please to check on them and I need you to choose one. Choose one for you. Which one would you ask for? ¿Cuál le van a pedir a sus compañeros? I need you to choose one. Teacher, uh -huh. what does it mean co co or, or co co-sign? Co-sign a bank loan for me. Loan is préstamo. When you co-sign with someone, it's like, de los dos es la deuda, pero yo me gasto el piso. Okay? <laughs> you just wow. sign for me <laughs> when you are el fiador. And it's like, ah, oh, sí, 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 Nati es buena paga. And Nati will disappear in the next week. <laughs> and she will never pay. Uh -huh. So who's going to pay for the bank? You. Okay. Exactly like that. So, will you? Then I, then I going to choose that one. <laughs> will you? No, but you are asking that one, okay? Es el que ustedes van a pedir. Will you mind, or can you please, can you please co-sign a bank loan for me? Can you please let me use your credit card? I, this is the most dangerous one because you don't know what for, right? I, I I will go for, I mean, these two are the, the nice ones, right? The easy ones. Quizás estos dos no los vamos a escoger mucho. But if you want to do it, yeah. Maybe some people do not like to go to concerts, right? You'll be like, ay, concierto, peor de tu sobrina. Ay, no. Mm -mm. I don't want to go, right? But will you take this one, for example? If I take my bendición to your house, it's like, bye. It's like, mm -mm -mm. no teacher. Sorry, but no sorry. I, I don't want it. I won't do it, right? Would you mind waiting for me outside? Could someone help me training a chihuahua to let me receive the class in bed? Could someone help me in that case? Could someone help me? To train, to train. Después de tú es el verbo normal. Could someone help me to train a chihuahua to let me receive my class in peace? I think Gladys sent that one on the chat. Okay, do you have your... your... It's <laughs> and it's true. Okay, yeah, un diario ahí, yeah. eh? un diario enrolladito. Mira. 
<laughs> one time and it's going to stop, right? Que ha destruido, pobre. <laughs> destruido. Modo destruido. Okay. Do you have your situation? So, if you have your situation, you are going to work in little groups of three. And you are going to ask your friends your favor. And they are going to give you reasons why not to do it. Okay? So, for example, if I say, we're going to do a little practice. And I say, class, everybody, can you come with me to my kids' concert at school tomorrow? Yeah, of course. But so tomorrow, tomorrow in the morning. Oh, sorry. Around nine in the morning. Sorry. I go. Okay, Gladys is going. She's going to take the pictures. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will work. Okay, so you say, I'm sorry. I can't. I have to work. Okay, primero decimos si podemos o no podemos y después la razón. So, uh, well, can you come with me tomorrow at nine in the morning to my son's concert at school? Yeah, Gladys is for the pictures, so that's it. She's going. <laughs> what about the rest? First. <laughs> ¿Y los demás? No vamos. Uh, I can't. Uh, no, I, have I have oh, to sleep. I have to sleep. Thank you, Carlos. I, I love you too. <laughs> Maybe another day. <laughs> it, it is a one and only concert. Thank you very much. I appreciate your sincerity. I I appreciate your yeah, your your honesty and your sincerity being so sincere. I, I love it. What's that? Ah, Luis Roberto, a cat is coming behind you. <laughs> okay. So, eh, no, Luis Roberto has to take care of the cat. So, for all the reasons that your friends are going to ask for, I need you to give different answers, but I need you to support your answers. I need you to actually tell me reasons why you cannot do the things, okay? It's not just like, no, or yes, I cannot do it. No, give me detailed reasons why you wouldn't accept to help or why would you accept uh, supporting your friends, okay? So we are going to work in mini groups and we're going to do little groups of four and three, okay? For you to practice in a very good way. Do you have your uh, situation? Yes? ¿Ya tienen toda su situación? Yes, teacher, no, teacher? Yes, okay, let's go to work. We're going to have around uh, five to six minutes to do this, okay? Go ahead. Accept my invitation. We have five minutes for this. No, teacher, I guess that. There you go. And Paula Maria, did you receive my invitation?
Yes. Good. Now that all of them are assigned, we're going to go and check how they are doing. When we come back, we are going to check a little bit on giving reasons and compliments. Let's go and see how they are doing. Me too. The aeroport. Aeroport. Airport. Airport. <laughs> Can you drive me to the aeroport? Um, yes, I can. In oh, yeah, my case, I, uh -huh. can, I can't. <laughs> Why? Tomorrow in the... There are, many, there are many things I have to do this day. Uh -huh. For example, Sleepy. my homework, <laughs> the platform. Um, I can't, I, I should, I should take care of my, my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I can see how difficult it is. <laughs> okay, uh, I I would love to drive you to the airport, but I don't have a car. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I I mean yeah, I don't have a car. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh huh. What is the next? There is Uber in future. <laughs> huh? By Uber. There is Uber. I, but <laughs> with Uber, how am I going to drive her to the airport? <laughs> Voy a ir con el Uber it's y de vuelta. It costs five dollars. <laughs> no, to the airport is 35. Wow. $35 to the airport. It's very expensive. Okay, another request. ¿Quién más, ¿Quién más pide? Vamos a ver. Um, Another question or another? No, no, no. Song? I mean, what was your request, Carlos? What was your petition? Uh, in the first place, um, I, I don't understand the explanation or the explanation. explanation. Uh huh. But I, <laughs> but I try to, but that my my ideas ideas uh, according to according to the request and answer of my classmates okay and what was uh, your request uh, cuál fue tu petición uh, i i i still i i don't I ha still i haven't <laughs> Ah, you haven't done it. Okay, go ahead, do it then. Vamos ahorita entonces. Um, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, could you could you help me with my with my homework in the platform? Okay. Could you help me with my homework in the platform? But what about from here? Y de todas estas, ¿cuál escogiste? Uh, drive me, drive me to airport. Drive me and... to the airport. Uh -huh. But that was Olivia's. Uh huh. And... Uh -huh. ¿Cuál escogiste tú y cuál escogió Estela? Uh -huh. uh, Escoge Estela, una. Que... Yo escogí ah, la misma que escogió mi compañera anteriormente. Ah, but choose another one. De... <laughs> okay, okay. I I'm going to, I'm going to choose another. Uh -huh. uh, watch my stuff my stuff for okay. a few minutes can you please can you please uh, can you please watch my stuff for a few minutes uh -huh. pueden ver ahí las cositas que ha dejado Carlos aquí pueden cuidar mis cosas un ratito right? could you please watch my stuff for a couple of minutes what would of you course. say Olivia of course, yes. In of course. Oh, they are very good girls it's, it's a pleasure Oh, it's a pleasure, you say. It's a pleasure to help you. They are, they are very good girls. Okay, <laughs> good. 
Yeah, yeah. If if there is food, <laughs> forget it, right? Okay, now uh, Estela, choose another one for for your class. Choose another one. <sighs> Can't you let me use to no a ver, could, could you like let me you no use in that case to can you car? ah can you okay would you mind letting me use your credit card? Ooh. <clears throat> yes uh, eh, you know <laughs> No. No. <laughs> no, in my case, no. No. <laughs> you know, I, I don't No, I have, cannot. Uh, no, I can't, right? I, I don't have a lot of no, credit, so I think you won't... You... Can, you ask me, can you ask me another another favor, please? Uh, okay, <laughs> yeah. Maybe the next, may, may the the next, next time. Session. Yeah, in the next in the time, next you say. Session. Okay, you say, maybe in the next time, right? Maybe in the next time. Okay, practice the other ones. Practice the other ones, and I will come back in a moment, okay? Se pueden quedar con otras ideas? Practice a different ones, and I will come back, okay? Enjoy mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, students. How are you? Ah, you know, Fine. I, I wanted to ask you for a favor. Sorry, right. Uh, is it okay if I ask you for a favor? Yes, of course. Yes, sir. Okay, you know, I have to do a lot of shopping tomorrow for Christmas and I forgot my wallet at home and I am not going to go to my house. So can I, uh, can I use your credit card tomorrow to go shopping? <laughs> Sorry, teacher. Sorry. <laughs> I can't. Sorry, no. teacher. I, 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 I have to use I can. My, my wallet is, is no money for, <laughs> for right now. But, you know, but I, I know what Kinta was like. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, no, so. I, okay. I can lend you my credit card, but if you, you do a, a transfer. Um, <laughs> ah, you know. <laughs> ¿Cómo se diría? No tengo todavía el aguinaldo. <laughs> I, I, I haven't received. I haven't received uh, uh, my Christmas bonus. Oh, I haven't received my Christmas bonus. Uh, so I am going to go to the other room to see if they lend me the money. <laughs> Voy a ir al otro a ver si ellos me prestan. Okay. I will come back in a moment. Now again. Hello, people. Hello. You, you know, I am coming, I am coming from the other group and they didn't uh, do this favor for me. I need to okay. go shopping tomorrow and I need you to uh, lend me your credit card. Is it possible? Uh, sorry, I don't have one. Uh, you don't have uh, one. Credit card is canceled. Yeah. <laughs> it's canceled. No pasa, sí. Eh? Uh, uh, people, I am coming from the other group and they, and they didn't give me money. I am going to see if group number four can give me money. Voy a ver si los otros me prestan. Hello. You know, I am coming from the other groups and they didn't do this favor for me. No me quisieron hacer el favor en otro grupo. I need to go shopping tomorrow and I need you to lend me some money. Could you please lend me some money for some Christmas shopping tomorrow? <laughs> of course. Yeah, yeah. Let's oh, go. <laughs> yes, let's go. Okay. I am I found it. <laughs> uh, they, they didn't want to give me credit cards, you see. They said like le voy a pagar en abonos de cobija. But no, they didn't. <laughs> Thank you, group. If, for... I, if I have it, a, a credit card, I let in you, but I have it. But I don't have. Oh, okay. Let's go back to the main right. session. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go back. <laughs> Uh, 
Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. You see, I went to all different groups. I went to many different groups and they didn't want to let me use the credit card for some Christmas shopping. Ash. <laughs> Only one group gave me cash to go shopping. Solo un grupo me dio ahí el efectivo para ir a comprar. That was very good. <laughs> the other, no, teacher, I don't have this and that. Mm, I said. But Joaquin, Joaquin is the meanest one. Yo le digo, Joaquin, me deja usar su, su, su tarjeta de crédito. Ah, no. That was like, my heart. I How do you say el limit está excedido? It's too much. It's like, I am out of credit, you say. I am out of credit. Es que ya no tengo. Out of credit. credit. I am out of credit. Right. Licenciada, no le pasa la tarjeta. Vuelva a probar. Tal vez su coger que no sirve. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. And there's no money there. There's no money at all. Well, my dear child, I am going to call the attendance before everything. And then I am going to show you the other exercise that I have for you. Thank you very much for the practice. Alejandra Cristina. Here. Astrid Michelle. Here, teacher. Blanca Estela. Me. Carlos Alfredo. Present. Claudia Yanet. I'm here. Ever de Jesús. Present, Miss. Gabriel Stephanie. Present. Gladys Imelda. Present. Griselda Elizabeth. Present, teacher. Jasmine. Here, teacher. Joaquín. Here, teacher. Jose Arturo. Present, teacher. Jose Manuel. Josué Isaías. Present, teacher. Lilian Estela. Oh. Thank you. I'm here. Luis Fernando. Present, teacher. Luis Roberto. Luis Roberto. Madeline. En Manuel Aristide. Present. Olivia. Sí. Paula María. Present. Rosa Esmeralda. Sandra Cecilia. Present. Thank you, thank you. Walter René. Walter René. Present teacher. Jenny Maritza. Present teacher. And that's it. <clears throat> Good. So let's continue here. I have a different example. Thank you very much for discussing with your friends. Yeah, algunos de ustedes son bien buena onda. Okay, would you mind taking me to the airport? Yes, for sure. Would you mind uh, giving me your passport, uh, your password for the platforms? Yes, go ahead. Netflix, Spotify, whatever you need. So that is pretty awesome. Would you mind babysitting the kids for me? And no. Would you mind letting me stay at your house for a couple of weeks? Yes, come. There's always a space. Here in El Salvador, si duermen tres, duermen cuatro. It's okay. So there's no problem. So you are very good on that area. I have here a couple of sentences on which we are going to differentiate if there is a reason or a compliment. Do you know what is the meaning of compliment? What is the meaning of compliment? Um, un cumplido. Like oh, no, no, no. Un cumplido. A compliment is like, hey, I love your blouse. It's very beautiful. I really love your hair. It looks fantastic. Oh, you are so beautiful today. You look very handsome today. That's a compliment, right? It's like, ah, thank you, teacher. Always. Always teacher, always, right? The boys, when they cut their hair, right? Como los chicos cuando se cortan el pelo. Aunque no se note. Dígale, ¡Ah, te cortaste el pelo. It looks fantastic. And it's the same thing, right? But it's like, <laughs> and then you're like, que me quedo hermoso. Yeah, fantastic. You look beautiful. You look amazing. You look so handsome. And it's the same thing, right? Mismo corte, 40 años atrapa. It's okay. Y con si Arturo, it's like, 
<laughs> it's not bullying. Okay. It's you not... know the compliment if, if I if I have any hair. <laughs> now when you say like, hey, I love your shirt. It looks so nice. It's Nike. Very beautiful. That's another compliment, you see. The best compliment that you can do to a lady. What are you doing? You look really thin. Get placa, stop. Oh, really? Oh, I got, yeah, yeah, you see? <laughs> I am I am eating less bread. They say, no estoy comiendo pan. They say, pero de la orilla. No te de loco. Yeah, and also for the boys, right? A los chicos igual. Si le dice al chico, sí, ya te veo así como bien, bien culoso que te estás haciendo, estás haciendo ejercicio. Levantó pesas. <laughs> And they are all very happy, right? That's a compliment, right? <laughs> oh, like this. <laughs> se me notaba, se me notaba. <laughs> they are not doing anything. <laughs> When you say, I really like your new haircut, is it a reason or a compliment? Give me a compliment. A compliment. It's a compliment, compliment. right? It's a compliment. <clears throat> Don't worry. I know you didn't mean to break it. Are you returning a favor or accepting an apology? Accepting no, an apology. Accepting an apology. accepting an apology, right? You didn't mean. Yo sé que no era, tu, eh, no era tu intención, right? You didn't mean to break it. Can I borrow your laptop? It's asking for a favor or giving a gift. Asking for a favor. Asking, asking for, for a, a favor. favor, right? Asking for a favor. I can't lend you my bike because I need it myself. It is declining a request or accepting an invitation? It's declining a request. Declining, right? Declining a request. Good. Let's see. <clears throat> Could you help me cook dinner? Is that a request or a returning a compliment? Declining a request. Making a request. Making a request. Make declining a request. <laughs> you are not going to help the person anymore, right? Will you help me cook dinner? That is to make a request, right? It is not returning a compliment. You are uh, making a request. And for sure, if we have, for example, this one, this is my last exercise for the night, but we're going to do it together. It says, my phone didn't work for a week and the phone company an apology and took $20 off my bill. Are you going to say that the phone company accepted an apology, denied an apology, or offered an apology? Offered. Mm -hmm. Offered. So, accepted. Oh. <laughs> accepted. They offered an apology and they took off, le hicieron un descuento, of $20 of my bill, okay? In another country, not in El Salvador, okay? Yes. Okay. No, $20 more for the... They yes. Add more I, money. Thought, I thought that. Yeah. A friend of mine, a friend of mine really loves to compliment, Free. but he never gives anyone else one. I don't understand why he's like that. He loves to do, own, or receive. 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 receive receive right he loves to receive compliments but they never give you one right it's like ah oh, thank you very much and they don't say anything right he's like i love your blouse it's beautiful thank you i know <laughs> they don't say they don't say anything to you right casi siempre cuando uno dice me encanta tu blusa ay gracias mira que no sé en el shopping la tuya también, and then you, you give back the compliment. It's very common. But there are some people who do not do it. Carol is always talking on the phone. She makes a lot of calls, but she rarely made uh, <clears throat> mine. Maybe she never listens to her voicemail, right? She's always on the phone, but she rarely returns, makes returns. offers or returns. Returns. Returns mine, right? She returns everybody's, but not my phone call. I need to a favor. Could you please give me a ride to school tomorrow? My bike has a flat tire. I need to ask for, give, or turn down. 
Ask for a favor, right? I need to ask for a favor. Could you please give me a ride to school tomorrow? My bike has a flat tire, okay? You cannot give a favor. You cannot turn down a favor. You ask for a favor, right? You cannot uh, offer a call. You return a phone call. You receive compliments, right? You don't do a compliment, right? You receive or you offer, right? And for an apology, you offer an apology, okay? Or you can accept an apology because if someone is doing it to you, you accept it, right? Or you can offer if you were the one who didn't do it. So for tomorrow, my dear class, we are going to start with a little bit of vocabulary. I am going to send you this one to you. And I need you please to investigate if you don't know the meaning of these different words. This is going to be the vocabulary for the class. Okay, I am going to send it to your chat right now. And I need you to investigate the meaning, right? Si no saben el significado de alguna de estas frases, I need you to investigate uh, them, okay? In the case of get a divorce, you know the meaning of that one. Uh, bitter call, what is the meaning? Fast car, right? You know these combinations. But if you don't know them, I need you to investigate them, okay? We are going to start with this vocabulary tomorrow in the class. So my dear students, it has been such a great pleasure to share with you today. And I am going to see you tomorrow for another class. Okay. Have a beautiful Thank night. You, Bye. 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 Night. Bye. Bye. Take care. Night. Finish. Finish. Gladys, finish. Gabriela, finish. Bye. Bye.